Eagle fans, welcome back to another Eagle Inspiration Conversation. Is This morning I'm joined by softball head coach, Samantha Jones. Coach, thank you for joining me. Thank you. I appreciate it. And it looks like you're down there at the softball field right now getting ready to put in some work today. Yeah, we are outside. Actually, my son is right behind me and our new dog is with us. So it's a pretty day not to do something. <laughs> All right, well, we'll start off with what are some things that you've been up to in the last month and a half? Yeah, so a lot of organizing, <laughs> a lot of uh, taking an inventory and um, just preparing for this summer of what's to come of it with recruiting and just staying in contact with our girls. Um, and then for this fall, too, uh, just preparing the different practice plans and different team events and bonding events that we want to do with our, our new coming team. So we're excited for that. All right. You mentioned staying in contact with your team and bonding events right there. Uh, even through technology, you've been able to do that over the last month and a half. Can you talk a little bit about some of the things your team's done? Yeah. So what we've done is every two weeks, we've had like a Zoom call with each of the class members. And then we'll have a big Zoom call with the current team. And the last two weeks, we've played a, a trivia game. So the first one was a Disney trivia and the sophomores won. And then this past Thursday was um, name that tune trivia and the freshmen won. So they get a little prize with all that. And uh, it's been good just kind of keeping up with them and see how they're doing with their families, how they're adjusting to the new norm, um, getting their studies done. And as you know, they're preparing to take their finals this week before they can kind of relax and take a big breath of fresh air. Um, well, you, you mentioned um, your classes, and, and one of the things that you really did well in the last couple of weeks was your virtual senior day. Can you tell me how that came to fruition? Yeah, Addie Nicholson, who um, was the lead on creating those graphics, did an amazing job of getting with the seniors, um, creating those graphics so we can put them up on social media. And, you know, just kind of a small token of just appreciation for our seniors that have graduated. Um, but that's not going to be the only thing that we want to do. You know, when we when we get back to campus and go back to the real norm, uh, we definitely want to celebrate them and all that they have accomplished here at Moorhead State, whether it was under, you know, myself as the coaching staff or past coaching staffs. Um, they've just done a tremendous job and excelling in the classroom and being leaders for us on and off the field. And we want to make sure that we give them a proper um, senior day. So we're excited to get them back on campus and celebrate them actually homecoming weekend, which will be fun. Okay. And what are two of the, uh, you know, what are the kind of things that stick out, uh, maybe one for each Lindsay and, and Randy about their uh, help to your team in the last couple of years? Absolutely. Yeah. Lindsay is absolutely resilient. Um, she's been through a lot of different things um, currently this year and last year, uh, up and downs through injuries. And, you know, I don't know if you know, but um, some people may know she had a heart condition this past year. And the doctor back in November, December said that she was never going to play a game, you know, for the rest of her career. And, you know, with the new medicine and her rehab, and honestly, I think with her drive and her focus and her belief, um, she was able to pull through and made it. And she, she, I think she started almost every single game for us with the 16 games. And um, so she's been a real asset for us and just her resiliency on the field and off the field. Uh, she's such a, she's such a great leader. Um, and I'm going to miss her a lot just because, um, she led by example, um, and she led by with her voice. So what you would want in a leader. Um, so she was great with that. And then Randy, I think she's so persistent. Uh, she's so competitive on the mound. Um, you can't tell if she's having a good day or a bad day. Um, and I think with that type of mindset, that's exactly what you want in a pitcher is you never know what's wrong. Um, sometimes it could be a bad thing. Uh, but for us, it worked out great because, um, she was a steadfast leader when it came to being on that mound and in any other position. And so I'm just going to miss her consistency when it comes to working hard and showing uh, what that work ethic looks like on a daily basis. Well, Coach, those are two great insights on two great seniors. And uh, let's kind of change things up here. Last week, talking with uh, Preston Spradlin, the men's basketball head coach, uh, he shared with me some inspiration or some motivation that he shared with his team or that his team has shared with him. Do you have some examples of that from your team? Yeah, I think our girls are doing a really good job of um, finding the good in some of the challenging moments. Um, they've done a really good job of being able to extra, um, I guess, lend the extra hand to their families and their friends around them that may need it. 
Um, so the motivation for them is to continue to stay on this path. And, you know, a lot of us on our team that we believe things happen for a reason, you know, granted, we wanted to play this year and, and we wanted to continue to show out, but maybe it was time for a rest. Uh, maybe it was time for, uh, to spend some extra quality time with our family and or with our friends and I think they're really taking full advantage of that and I think their families um, are definitely enjoying those times um, but uh, you know every single time we got in those zoom calls or every single time I see on Twitter uh, when they're posting stuff they're always missing their teammates and so you know that the bond that they have is true um, and they love each other for that and so I'm excited for them to get back so their motivation is honestly just working hard um, not taking a day for granted because you don't know, you know, when it can be gone. And I think this year was a prime example of, you know, you work and you work, you work until that last out um, and you keep believing um, and until that last out. And they they did a tremendous job this year of that. And I'm excited for, you know, what's to come with everything that just happened. Um, and hopefully they'll just continue to push forward with that. Well, coach, we, we look forward to getting your Eagle family back here to campus um, any last thoughts you have for the One Eagle family? Yeah, I'm just super thankful for our community. I'm super thankful for our Moorhead State University community. Um, everything has been wonderful. Um, the support that they have with our family, with our girls. I um, mean, our senior day, there's my son right there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, I thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm, I'm just so appreciative of all the support that they've showed us, you know, throughout the beginning of the season, you know, to the last day, to senior day. Um, to helping us move out on an efficient basis. And so I couldn't be surrounded by a more um, supportive and amazing community. And I'm excited for next year and for put more uh, fans in those stands. Well, Coach, we are definitely excited for next year and can't wait to see what the next year, the summer, the fall holds for your program. And I want to thank you for joining me here. No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. 